Why do you have to know lines for calculus? Well, in Calc A, a lot of what we do is finding tangent lines, normal lines, we're approximating function values using linearization, that's a line. And so, we have to know how to write the equation of a line and what those lines mean. In algebra, you learned about three different types of lines. Point slope form, you need a slope and any point on that line. Slope intercept form, you need the slope and the y-intercept. And for standard form, well, you can't really have any information to get to standard form. You have to get to standard form either by going through point slope form first or slope intercept first. And of course, in standard form, A, B, and C are integers, and A is positive. So, what is the difference between point slope form and slope intercept form? Well, both have a slope, so that's a similarity, but slope intercept form has this B right here, which is a very specific point. B is where our line crosses the y-axis. So for example, if here's my line, y equals b is right there. It's that y-value. Meanwhile, point slope form has x1 comma y1. x1 comma y1 is any point on this line. So for example, it could be this point right here. It could be this point right here. You know what? In fact, it could be the y-intercept. So, point slope form is actually a much more general form of a line than slope intercept. For slope intercept, you have to have this one point known as B. Whereas with point slope form, you can have any point on the line, this one, this one, this one, and the fact is that there are an infinite to choose from. In calculus, we will be writing all of our lines in point slope form. It's easier, it's more general, it gives us more power over what we're doing. Slope intercept form rarely comes along. Rarely will we be given the y-intercept, and to have to solve for the y-intercept is just a pain in the butt. So, we'll stick with point slope form. We will never have to go to standard form, but we should know how to go from standard form to slope intercept form because sometimes we'll have to know the slope of a line in standard form, in which case you can get it into slope-intercept form and find the slope that way. Now, you can go from point-slope form to slope-intercept form by distributing m and moving over your y1. And then you can go from slope-intercept form to standard form by moving over the mx and changing m to be an integer if you have to, or a positive integer in fact, if you absolutely have to. And that is the basics of lines. These are the three lines that we have. We will be using point slope form all the time, so get familiar with that one. Slope intercept form, it's fine, but no one really uses it because it's, it's a pain. And it rarely comes up in, in nature. And there it is.